Welcome to this next instalment on 3D printing wings. In this one we're going to talk about designing ailerons. So the first thing you want to do is draw a sketch and you want to draw your parting line. And then a little bit further on you want to draw your right angle and this allows the aileron to move up and down within the wing surface. Here I'm just aligning the points of the perpendicular lines to be in the middle. And you want this to be an enclosed shape so just convert the outside. And then just use that shape to extrude cut the solid infill that we have. From there, draw yourself another sketch on that front plane and use your previous sketch that you just used to cut extrude. Convert that onto the new sketch and then trim out the top and bottom, this is important. And then draw yourself a little joining shape. And this has to be not collinear with either of the current lines on the sketch. Then ex surface extrude that the whole way through the length. And then what you want to do is trim, use that to trim the surface of the wing shape. And as you'll see, this now gives you a good gap. And then use delete face to delete the extra. And now you can see that resembles a wing and aileron. And now I'm just going to put them into folders so that all the solid pieces for the main wing are together, all the solid pieces for the aileron are together, and same with the surfaces. This just makes it easier to keep organised. And the idea of this is that you use uh, tape or something similar to make the hinge. From here it's fairly standard that we just save each part as its own STL so we insert into new part all of the surface bodies for the main body all the surface bodies for the aileron and the same with the solids and we just try and keep track of those keep it organized Here you can see I've just sped up through the rest of it. This is just doing an arbitrary sized aileron to show the idea, but you should really follow calculations to do it correctly. And now here I'm just importing the files into Cura, aligning the origins and then setting the in the solid model as an infill. And there you can see the aileron will print and I'm just going to do the same with the solid part. 